Folks, welcome back. Here, let me pause this. Chill now. Because we'll start the revolution. Ayo, turn the page. Fight the revolution. Each and every way. I honestly forget how that song goes. But welcome back, folks. For I'm the one, I am the only, I am a hobo Tom. And again, so I was playing a little bit of Revolution by Faulkner. Because, yeah, that guy, that, that broken persona's probably still in some swamp area. God knows the, the hurricane's still zonked every place. But my house, well, my street is literally a construction zone right now. And this is how excited... My cat is for to watch Revolution. Where is she? There she is. Yep. <laughs> She's asleep on the couch. Yeah. And it's going to be time for me to get to bed soon anyway. Let me tilt that back up. In a proper viewing s circle, I guess. There we go. Yes, but you know what? I've heard a little music from Falker. I'm going to hit my music. Understand how the lost card is playing ball. Because it's that time again. It's time to do some predictions. Although, I'll let you guys know. Um, this Sunday, I do have to work. But I only work 11 to 7. I hope. Last time it was like 7.20. So that's not too bad. So I should be able to do a live reaction which is something I have not done in a while on Sunday. Um, it is Lent, so I'm just going to have my bagels and cream cheese and fake bacon. And I'm going to have um, grapefruit soda, Shirley Temples. Also, folks, check it out. Yep, it's time. It's time. It's bike week time. God. Yep, so probably not next week following week so I'll be working two events uh, my boss finally found my paperwork I submitted my time off so I can work at the racetrack which is good it means more of this for me it's always a good it's always a good thing especially after I had to square away things at the house after it said hurricane and she's was still wants she's so fluffy looking she's taking her nap for every Thing in this house is just a bed to her. I wish I could be like that. I'll be going to bed soon, but I'm not going to talk about that. I'm here to talk about AEW Revolution, man. Yeah, um, I think I have some pictures. Uh, this will be something salacious, knowing me. These are my prediction as to what's going to happen. Um, I do intend to do at least a partial review and watch along hopefully it doesn't go on to like forever so now i have to go get back to work monday and i'll be tired as is cookie crumbles uh, so yeah we'll, we'll see how things go and it has been a while since i've done reaction i might laptop over there and watch that so i'll be like oh wow look at that so we'll see so I do plan to do that Sunday, probably 7.30ish. So I have no idea how much of the pre-show I am going to miss. And that means, oh man, tomorrow I have to do that too. I haven't made a match card in so long. But so let's start off. This is in no particular order. Um, Jungle Boy versus Christian. A lot of these, I'll tell you what, my main qualm is that WWE, I think, finally got the right formula for its pay-per-views. Three, four hours at most. It's pretty good. I mean, from, I think, eight till midnight for the big four. And then about two and a half, three hours for the others. Seem 
manageable. I just don't want to see an AEW show that like lasts. I think the one was like seven until like almost one a.m. That was a grind. But yeah. Um. So I, I have no idea where it's gonna start. I haven't seen AEW. I was working last night. I had to close. They called me in. Oh well. Again, more of that scratch. But so yeah, uh, we have Jungle Boy versus Christian Cage. You know what? I so don't care about this feud. I just want to see Jungle Boy win and get this over with. Next, we'll have the Trios Championship. We have the Elite. Versus the House of Black. I have the House of Black going over again. I've kind of written these down. I've underlined well, who my winners are. And I'll track this throughout the show. And either just feel terrible about my life. Or for some matches. The next match I would take a nap through. Jamie Hayter versus Soraya versus Ruby Soho. I'm torn because Tony Khan has never put a belt on any ex WWE person besides Tony Storm. I think Sarai is going to win that belt, but I'll tell you what. I don't know. I might like flop on that couch and join my cat for a little snooze. Then somewhere in the mix we'll have Samoa Joe versus Wardlow, the war machine. I have Wardlow down only because Wardlow is very slowly becoming uninteresting. I think him feuding with Samoa Joe would be good. Wardlow's going to win. Whatever. And then my stone cold Lock of the night. We have Chris Jericho taking on Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks almost has to win. I mean, I could see, I mean, I could easily see Chris, Chris Jericho winning does absolutely nothing for anyone. Ricky Starks win. Chris Jericho does have a, does have a history putting people over so we'll see how that goes um, probably in the pre-show I didn't mention this they'll probably have that Atlantic title or oh no wait, Orange Cat oh no Orange Cassidy and um, Danhausen in the tag match so no we won't see that there are oh it's um the FTW champion there are too many Belts in the AEW, but yeah, I think Hook's gonna take take on someone. I I think it's um the one manager guy, maybe Ethan Page. Maybe it'll make it interesting. Maybe it'll be Ethan Page. Doesn't matter. Hook's gonna win. That's probably in the pre-show. Yeah, I could really care less about Hook, which is terrible because his father Taz. Beat me if you can. Survive if I let you. The human suplex machine was awesome. Hook is just being... I don't know. Not not even mid-card. Like, upper or lower card. Not even a mid-carder. Um, John Moxley versus Adam Page. This is just going to see who, who gets to bleed first. John Moxley's going to win. They're not doing anything with Adam Page. Although, you never know. Uh, the Guns. Then we have the tag team match. The Gun Brothers. They're actually pretty cool. Versus the Acclaimed. Sizzle me, daddy -o. They're, they're Max Castro has the personality. I will give you props when props are due. Max Castro has all the personality. Versus uh, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett. J E double F J A double R E double T Jeff Jarrett Slap Nuts and J Lethal versus Dan Housen and Orange Cassidy. 
Yeah. Um, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett are going to win. Eventually, they will drop those belts to FTR. They're the only team that makes sense. They're a good heel tag team. I mean, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett are just good, too. So, yeah. Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett, new AEW Tag Team Champions of the World. And then probably in my match of the night. We have MJF, Maxwell, Jacob Friedman, your AEW champion, taking on the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson has to leave the Blackpool Combat Club. I mean, he's doing absolutely nothing. Brian Danielson's going to win. Again, this is going to be my match of the night. But I'll tell you what, now I know why he has great technical matches. But just like CM Punk, they're, they're kind of dull. There's no pizzazz. I don't know, I might be off. He's Brian Danielson's good on the mic. Great worker. I'll never take that away from him. It's just that he doesn't necessarily have that he doesn't. He doesn't have that. Doesn't have that flair to it. Or maybe he did it one time, but now he's just the American Dragon. Again, amazing technical wrestler. But I don't know. He he's with his the exception of him being the the tree champion. And calling people fickle. Fickle. I mean, even in WWE, he was kind of meh. I don't know. That's one person's opinion. But, yeah, um, Brian Danielson's going to win that. They say supposedly CM Punk might be coming back. Yeah, I doubt that's happening anytime soon. Um, MJF. I don't even know who a good heel would be for... Brian Danielson versus John Moxley. Yeah, and a breakup of the Blackpool Combat Club. Maybe a, isn't Claudio? Isn't Claudio? Yeah, TV champion. Yeah, I think he no. He's a. You see, is he still the pure wrestling champion? They don't have the belt. See, that's the my big issue with AEW. There are way too many belts. You have the AEW champion. The Dyn um the Dynamite, the TNT champion, FTW champion, Ring of Honor, TV title, Ring of Honor pure title, Atlantic title. Tag team titles, trios titles, TBS championship, which is a woman's title, and AEW's women's championship. That's like 10 belts. I don't even think they had what? WWE, it's most belts. European, Intercontinental, Hardcore, U.S., The big gold belt. WWE Championship. SmackDown. Raw Champions. I mean, maybe they're the same, but they just felt different. Maybe because of the branding. It was just different. And who knows? Tony Khan owns the Ring of Honor, so you can never tell. Well, that's about it. Um, so I'll post this video shortly, probably tomorrow or later today. Yeah, that more that weird AM morning thing kicks in. Um, I'll try to get on for my reactions because I have not done that in a while. It's always good to hear from you, 
my fans. I know I seem kind of like out of it. Like I think working yesterday kind of like goofed up my schedule, goofed up the way I timed stuff. I know I applied for three jobs already, got my onboarding done for my other job, uh, waiting to hear back eventually. The other job, how to print up stuff. I've just been busy. So yeah. So I'll have that, and then probably the following week, sometime after the 11th, you'll see some Speed Week pictures. We'll see biker babes. I hope. Biker babes in bikinis. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be bad. But other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And very tentatively, I'll see everyone Sunday. Bye. Oh, yeah, I have to give a shout out. I went to the mall, was it Monday? No. Wednesday. I wore my, was it Wednesday? No. Maybe it was Monday. I forget, one day I went to the, no? Had a, whatever day the first was. Went to the mall, I had on, no it wasn't that day. I don't know, I went to the mall one day. I had on my Bullet Club t-shirt and said, some guy said, hey man, too sweet me. I said, too sweet. So again, it's too sweet for the one guy. Because you know what? If you're going to be too sweet, you have to be too sweet for life. I think it all sees up on me. So yeah, so who knows? More video issues, who cares? Because remember, yep, there you go. In the... For life, the way only hobo, the way only hobo Tom can do that. So yep, I shall see everyone later again. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more job footage, behind the scenes stuff, that's at Bike Week. More more women in bikinis. Women in bikinis is good. Um, I'll see everyone later. Bye. Maybe I'll put some fishing. I have to get out and do. Maybe I'll go to a baseball game. Hobo Tom goes to a baseball game. I'll see you later. Bye.